So my leadership class the next day, I did an activity, If You Really Knew Me, which is a part of the Challenge Day program. And it was amazing. So Angie brought the San Francisco-based Teen Challenge program to Big Walnut, held just off-site at Sunbury United Methodist Church so there's no distractions. It's a day when students get real with each other. I know I was really judgmental before I came in here. An environment where ninth graders feel safe to confess feelings that are shared by more than a few. They respond with the sign of love and support, and the students are not afraid to challenge each other. If you see somebody in the hallway that you think is unusual or weird, do not make judgments, do not make assumptions about them, do not make fun of them. I'd like to challenge everybody here to break up the clicks. This open floor, open confession is supported and encouraged by Teen Challenge leaders Tony and Echo. It comes at the end of a day of activities, many that we were not permitted to film because of their sensitive nature. One, called Cross the Line, asks students to step across a line in response to questions if they've dealt with things like divorce, feelings of low self-esteem, being excluded, labeled, or cyberbullied. It gives us an opportunity to not go through that stuff alone. I mean, all the things we don't talk about, there's five or six, maybe ten other kids. Sometimes on some of these categories, there's 30 other kids going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. So what we learn is you can lean on somebody around you. There's somebody here that understands what that's like. The freshmen sit in small groups with others they don't normally hang out with. Parents are welcome, though they don't sit with their kids. Sessions focus on reconciliation. I make an apology to somebody. Say, I used to treat you bad. It's going to be different from now on. It's power. And there are moments of unbridled celebration as one student reacts in support of their partner's declaration of self worth. <laughs> Teen Challenge is not cheap. Price tag about $4,000 a day. Budget cuts have stopped partial school funding, so Ms. Stukesbury went out and found the money to keep the program alive. We've had several local organizations and individuals who've just stepped up and donated and made this makes this possible every year. And with only a few exceptions, every freshman goes through the challenge, meaning nearly every student in the high school has done it as well. In fact, seniors like Tyler here, a varsity football player, come back to encourage the kids to make the challenges permanent. But does the message stick? Everyone still changes a little bit because we become a little more conscious and we may still say things, we may still judge people, but right afterwards we're like, oh wait, that was wrong, you know, mm -hmm. let's go back and fix it. And the hope is the damage in need of repair is reduced because of the shared experience and challenges that are not forgotten. I think it'll be a big embrace mm -hmm. now, and more love and more peace and unity.